I had stayed 302. Uh, Chris, uh, the mapper, uh, is recovering well from his uh, heart surgery. Uh, less than a week after his operation, he's up and uh, going for walks. As they say, you can't uh, keep a good man down. Uh, what did come down this week uh, was the neighbor's uh, wind turbine, what's uh, left of it behind me. I'd always kind of assumed that once you'd installed the renewable energy system, it just kind of ticked along and uh, harvested uh, energy for you into eternity. Uh, but that's clearly not the case. It needs some care and maintenance. And actually, if you look uh, behind the boom, uh, just where uh, it intersects with the horizon, it's a clear day today and you can see Alaska. The uh, Alaska Panhandle and the mountain ranges there are only uh, about 60 miles offshore from where we are here. But anyway, here is Meredith talking about this particular power system. I hope you enjoy. On the north end of Haida Gwaii up here, we're primarily on diesel. That's the only source of electricity. And so we are sort of in a desperate race right now, I feel, to start coming up with uh, solutions that are more sustainable and long-term because the diesel is probably not going to be coming shipped across on barges the heck it's straight forever and we should probably be prepared for that inevitability. Uh, so a couple of years ago my company Spark Energy uh, designed this two and a half kilowatt power system uh, for a couple who live out here on North Beach and it's a combination of sun and wind. Uh, you can see there are six solar panels for a total of about one and a half kilowatts and the wind turbine is a one kilowatt Berge XL1 turbine. And so between the two, you've got a good balance of systems. And our best days are in the summer, really, when we get wind from the north, which is a nice, clear, non-turbulent wind, and we've got full sunlight. I think installing any wind turbine of this type has some challenges. Uh, originally, the tower was 100 feet tall, and we we're experiencing quite a few noise issues because this is such a windy site. Haida Gwaii experiences hurricane force winds regularly in the winter time, and the turbine ends up making quite a bit of noise in those conditions. So, uh, by lowering the tower, we managed to um, conquer a lot of those wind issues. There have been a lot of other minor adjustments that we've made, and finally, after two years, uh, the neighbors are starting to be a bit happier with this turbine because it's not keeping them awake at night anymore. The couple who own this power system are actually off-grid, so they weighed the costs and balances. You know, the, the cost of extending the power lines down to their house would have been way more prohibitive than the cost of uh, building this power system. And one of the interesting things that resulted from this is they seem to have developed even more of an ecological consciousness, which is extending further out for them in the community, and I think that's one of the uh, most important things that's happening here. People can see that the solutions exist and that the solutions are effective and all we need to do now is employ these solutions on a bigger scale. I'm sure you are happy to see uh, Meredith again from Spark Energy. Have a great uh, week and I will talk to you next Tuesday. Thanks.